Hello everyone and welcome to Quality Olds Games. Today we are having part 5 of the Eastern Infantry Only campaign in Rome Total War and this series is 1000 uh, subscribers special series so thank you for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. And let's see. So could we perhaps drive some of those guys away from there? Seems we have lost the large enemy army. Yes, mighty lord. Yes, my liege. Hmm. Okay. So perhaps, yeah, we are able to besiege the settlement, and perhaps Artaxata will fall rather soon. Campus Sakai seems to be holding it together, albeit just barely. And let's hope this army can actually reach Kotais this time. So far so good. And do we have actually some mercenaries available here? None here. And then this army will push forwards. And... Um, hmm. Perhaps we should lower the taxis a bit here, just in case if the seats is lifted. And um, perhaps I don't dare to attack that army there. Okay, so we have a turn. Let's see what happens. And I really hope that I can control this army. Because if I cannot, it's more than likely that the general will be suicidal at some point of the battle. And since that's, that general is rather our key to everything in this area, Losing him will hurt us quite badly. So, if the come on, and we cannot control him. <sighs> okay, so it seems my rage quit meter is starting to fill up a bit. Let's hope see he survives and we can use these Eastern Infantry as a shield to protect him. So I think the priority is to take out those chariots. So let's move a bit forwards. Okay, the chariots are really coming this way, and hopefully taking some heavy damage from the towers. The cowardly tricks of the enemy are working. Their siege towers have breached our walls. Okay, so hmm. So my prediction is that the 
general here will either charge the chariots or the phalanx for example this one right from the front and get himself killed but let's see So it seems he's circling, circling a bit, not coming directly to the settlement. That might be a good sign. And at least that first phalanx is getting here. Unfortunately, they are exhausted, so we might have chances of taking them out. And again, apparently, none of our reinforcements are willing to join the battle. And I think those chariots should flee rather soon. Okay, good. And then we have some missile cavalry. Hopefully they will break soon as well. Okay, good. Then some Bedouin warriors and some phalanx. These guys are safe that they're... They think their flanks are secured. Certain if taking off the guard mode will improve the situation or make it worse. Okay, so those Nubian spearmen at least are shaken. We have some slingers here. I think we should start breaking some of these troops soon or we will lose the battle. So, the Allied General has arrived and the Slingers are breaking. The Bedouins are breaking, the Nubians are not breaking, nor the Nile Spearmen. Some help would be nice. Something else than charging headlong 
in the pike wall. So the bowmen are withdrawing, or rather, routing. So that's the... Okay, so he goes charging along against a phalanx unit, of course. Okay, finally. And now the question is... Can we break these guys here before... The general gets himself killed? Perhaps we actually can. Okay, nice, good. So now let's focus... What little we can focus... on inflicting casualties and then we need to have enough troops to protect the general from the enemy general. Let's hope these troops will suffice. Okay, so those Bedouins are routing. We have uh, the Nile Spearmen coming back. It might mean that we need to engage. So we have at least one unit there and quite a few units on the other side. And the enemy general still not moving to engage. Okay. Move quickly. Break, 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 break. Excellent. And I don't think those Nile Spearmen are coming back anytime soon, at least. And then we have some Nubian Spearmen. And now the enemy general is coming in. We have some peasants and Libyan mercenaries. I think that guy can take them on. And... Okay. I think he should really be attacking these guys. Of course we have some reinforcements, so perhaps I should just be happy that he isn't killing himself against the enemy general.
everybody got taken down is a victory. All by the small one, but victory nonetheless. And let's hope they will charge this unit. Not the general. No. No, no, no. Ah, this is painful. Okay. Flee, flee, flee. Okay. And that was the last of the bodyguards. And we still have one enemy unit lurking around here. So basically the only thing that can lose us the battle is the rather practically lose us the battle is the general heading somewhere where the Egyptians have the tower and getting himself killed there. Or perhaps this unit has enough punching power to take care of him. So it's peasants. No slingers. Okay. That should be okay. And we have a victory, and our general survives. Excellent. Of course, now the question is, how many men do we have left defending the city? So do we actually need to go to engage the last Egyptian army? I don't think we can handle another battle like that one with that 122 men of Eastern Infantry. So let's see if we could inflict some rather decent casualties to the enemy in this battle. Hmm, it seems at least one tower is at least getting something done there. That's some good news, even though I think we have lost this battle. And perhaps this tower can get some shots off as well. Okay, unfortunately only peasants. But perhaps some Nubian spearmen as well. And it seems the chariots are leading in the attack. That's nice.
I guess there is not too much to be done here. Except to just wait. How to how the battle ends. Or rather, how many casualties we can inflict before we are wiped out. At least those chariots have taken some beating. Well, not as many casualties inflicted as suffered, but well, that was okay. And Captain Sauromates is attacking. So, a good thing with these chariots is that they might actually run amok. That's our best chance here. So I guess we need to be on the city center in any case. Okay, so let's hope the enemy chariots move to the front, looking good. And let's hope they come to engage us. Okay, it seems the cavalry came to engage us and the chariots are moving to engage that building. I guess. But we don't dare to move to engage them. But perhaps they will follow the in the wake of this brave warrior here. Okay, excellent. Or oh, then not. Well, at least that Pontic Heavy Cavalry is taking some beating, but the chariots should also move to engage us. I don't think there is too much we can do here. Okay, so now it's the chariot's turn. So hopefully they start running soon, or start running amok soon. I think it might be even able to turn the battle into our favor, but let's see. Okay, excellent. One is running amok. Let's hope it inflicts very heavy casualties on the enemies there. 
perhaps another unit. Okay, so, and a third, nice. Well, we exactly, I don't think we are able to win the battle, but I think the... Okay, so they didn't sustain as many casualties as I was hoping for. Perhaps there will be some additional... Okay. Well, I think at least the chariots took quite nice a beating here. And we won! <laughs> That's the best victory ever. <laughs> I mean, come on. We have three men of Eastern Infantry left, and we won the battle. And it's an average victory. Okay, I will take it. Uh, perhaps we don't want to engage this arm here, even though that victory there was quite nice. But this battle... I think we need to fight. And as the reinforcements are coming from the same direction, I think um, we need to engage the initial army first. I guess I have said already several times, but I think these Eastern kind of commentators are just hilarious in this game. So let's hope. In the best case scenario, we can route all of these and these Scythian mercenaries allow themselves to be engaged which seems to have been a bit too much to hope for. But... The first enemy unit is breaking. The second enemy unit is breaking. And the last enemy unit is breaking. So I think we can prepare to face the second army. The situation here is rather okay, and of course we need to make sure that these guys are not coming back to fight us. And, oh, that's not good. And let's send these guys to engage the enemy general, and these guys to engage, I guess they were hillmen. And I think we need to have the general back ASAP. And let's hope. Okay, we cannot engage just yet. So let's try to withdraw a bit. And let's keep a clear line there. And take care of these hillmen first. And I think we should try to wipe out the whole unit here.
Wavering. Okay. And if we take down the general, I think we have this. Except, of course, we have quite the whole army routing, actually. Seems the glow of the last victory is beginning to dim at least a bit. Well, let's hope that this army here can do at least something. So the siege will last for two more turns. Let's hope we can do something before that. Perhaps we should send one unit to reinforce Tarsus. And in Seleukia I think we should continue training the Eastern Infantry. Now we have no family members in this region, which is probably a problem, except that one coming there. quite experienced troops. Let's see what happens. And can we actually control? Yeah. We actually want the enemy to have a good day to die. And us to have a... And once again we cannot control those. So I think basically we have lost the battle. Now the only question is how badly. And at the same time I think we will lose Hatra as well.
Pieps the best way to possibly win the battle is to charge at the enemy general. And hope we can kill him. But I guess that's it. Probably we will lose this general as well. Okay, a frontal charge against Spears. And he actually seems to have survived, but Hatra will be lost. Perhaps not. Let's see. Perhaps we will need those reinforcements to break the seats. Okay, let's see what happens. So we have time to wait. And your strength grows once more. General, stand and fight. The tricky part here is to get the enemy general and that Pontic heavy cavalry to engage us. Still thinking about the Battle of Artaxarta, perhaps we should have, um, of course, paid closer attention to the movements of the enemy general, so he wouldn't have been able to flank us. Perhaps we will try to get the enemy to waste their javelins to these guys. And uh, if we and when the route began, perhaps we could have um, kept back the general and the three eastern infantry units. I think they should have been a enough to take down the enemy. Infantry. 
even if other units had fled. Okay, so good. These guys are back in line. And I guess the javelins should run out rather soon. And the enemy general is on that side, as usual. Okay, so the heavy cavalry is moving away. Let's position our troops so that this unit will protect while this one charges and then these will try to flank. Okay. Excellent. The enemy general was a fool. He sacrificed himself rather than leaving his men to a dignified defeat. I guess we lost, but at least the enemy lost. Your soldiers have fought well. Their general. So one more turn until these guys surrender. I don't see any other option except to charge because we will lose the settlement otherwise. And to keep our allied general alive, we need to be the spearhead of the attack.
Your soldiers are running away! Well, at least we managed to inflict some casualties on the enemy general. And perhaps these guys can do some damage. Okay. So, I guess Hatra will be lost. A decent Egyptian army here, and once again we need to plan how to take the fight to the enemies. So basically, it seems we have actually lost two regions in this playthrough, or rather in this episode. So we still have quite a lot to do. So. I think this is everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to ask questions, give advice, post other comments, whatever you like. Have a great rest of the day. Quality Old Game is out.